Hi, in this video, we're going to discuss the group of integers. So for notation, we're going to denote the group of integers as follows. So parentheses, and then a Z like this. This is the set of integers, and a comma and a plus symbol. The plus is our operation on our group. So given any two integers, uh, the sum is also an integer. Um, so we have closure under that group operation. And this is a group because it satisfies uh, all of the properties uh, that a group has to satisfy. So it's a set that's not empty with a binary operation. Uh, the operation is associative. So let's write that down. So this basically says that for all integers x, y, z in our set of integers, we have, well, if you take X and you add it to Y, and then you add Z, that should be the same as first taking Y, adding it to Z, and then adding X. So the order, in some sense, uh, should not matter. This is the associative property, so uh, it's a key property that is a requirement for uh, a group. So all groups have to have this property. Two, the second property is the existence of something known as the identity element. So there exists and usually uh, people call it E. So E. So in our case uh, it's going to be zero, right? Zero is going to be uh, our identity for our group of integers such that for all x in z we have e plus x equals x and we have x plus e equals x. Right? We have both of these conditions and again, think of zero, right? Zero plus X is X, X plus zero is X. So zero is the additive identity for this additive group of integers. It's an additive group because the operation is addition. <clears throat> and then three, uh, the existence of inverses. So for all Y in our set Z, there exists x in z. So for each y, there is an x in z such that y plus x is equal to e and x plus y is equal to e. So uh, every element has uh, an inverse. And so in our particular case, uh, for any y and z, the element negative y would be the inverse, right? Because if you, if you have, uh, let's just use x. If you have x and z, the inverse of that element is negative x. That's also an integer, so it's also in z. And x plus negative x is equal to zero. And negative x plus x is equal to zero. And zero is the identity, right? So uh, everything is good. So this is a group, and it's a a very simple group. Um, it's probably one of the first examples you learn maybe when you're learning about groups in general. Um, so a group is basically an algebraic structure, right? So uh, it's a set with an operation, binary operation, that is associative. Uh, there is an identity element in that set and every element has uh, an inverse right under this uh, operation. Now the operation can change and sometimes it won't be a group, right? So uh, for example, um, if we look at, say, um, let's just make something up that's not going to be a group. If you take the set of positive integers, okay, so this is the set of, these are all positive integers. And you say, hey, what about the set of positive integers? 
under the operation of subtraction, is that going to be a group? No, it's not even closed under subtraction, right? Because if you do, if you take two minus five, these are two positive integers, you're subtracting them, you're gonna get negative three. That's not in your set. Um, so this set is not closed under subtraction, so there's no way it can be a group. Anyways, uh, kind of a tangent, but uh, just a simple video to show you what groups are. I hope you've learned some mathematics. Good luck.